I can't believe it. Blue Beetle's box office projections are looking amazing. <laughs> Just kidding. It's going to bomb. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the show. I am here with Play-Doh today, and we are bringing you a story from quite a few sources because it turns out that Blue Beetle, which is a film that is supposed to kick off the DCU, being helmed by James Gunn, is on track to lose a lot of money at the box office. But I can't put it into words better than this article right here. As if it couldn't get any worse, Blue Beetle could be on course for DC's worst box office debut in over 40 years. <laughs> Try to think back, what movie came out 40 years ago that was DC? And, and this film is going to do worse than any other film before it? We're going to have to read about this. Check this out. James Gunn's first year as co-CEO of DC Studios couldn't have gone much worse. With the leftovers from the old regime continuing to find themselves mired in box office disaster and behind the scenes ignominy, but things are poised to hit a brand new low when Blue Beetle releases next month. Shazam! Fury of the Gods followed up one of the franchise's best reviewed and most profitable installments with a box office of epic proportions, which was then swiftly blown out of the water by The Flash, faring even worse to run up potential losses of $200 million, all while Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom struggles to shake off the growing belief it'll suffer the exact same fate. Wow. So every film has gotten worse, okay, in the box office. People are just losing interest completely in this franchise. Um, it's not, it's not looking good at all. Blue Beetle has tried to state its case for appointment reviewing, but a non-existent marketing campaign coupled with writers and actors striking at the same time has not done it any favors. According to the latest tracking from Box Office Pro, the first hero in DCU canon is poised to debut with the comic book company's worst wide-release live-action opening weekend in over 40 years. Current estimates have Blue Beetle landing somewhere in the 12 to $17 million range. You, you know what kind of film gets that kind of money? Indie films. <laughs> They don't, they don't make, they don't make all kinds of money. Okay. That's like, that's the kind of money that that's, I mean, that's just embarrassing amounts of money. Uh, and if it comes out at the lowest end of those projections, it'll be the worst performance for any live actioner featuring a mainline superhero since Superman three netted $13 million back in 1983 before I was even born years before I was born <laughs> years before any of us were born. It'll be an all-time low for the DCU if it comes out any lower than Wonder Woman's 1984's 16 point million, oh, wow, that's 16.7 million dollars too. I actually didn't know I made that much. But there is one tiny silver lining. Oh, is there now? Jonah Hex, The Losers, and Steel all debuted beneath 12 million dollars, but the first two aren't technically superhero stories, and the latter only opened on 1,260 screens, whereas Blue Beetle is poised to hit on over twice as many. And I'm just going to show you guys a couple of the other stories that are corroborating this information. This is from comicbookmovie.com. Early Blue Beetle box office tracking has the film earning less than $20 million in its opening weekend. And then we have a story from Flickering Myth. Early Blue Beetle box office tracking suggests 12 to $17 million opening weekend. Yeah, it's not looking good at all. And then you have a story from Bounding into Comics that also discusses how bad this film is going to do in the box office. To put this in context, The Flash had an opening weekend of $55 million domestically. It's gone on to gross $107.1 million domestically with its time in theaters quickly coming to an end. Shazam! Fury of the Gods had a domestic opening weekend of $30.1 million. The film ended its domestic run at $57.6 million. Not only does it look like Blue Beetle will vastly underperform the last three DC films, it's likely to lose a significant amount of money if this prediction holds true. The rap reports the film has an estimated budget of $120 million. In order for the film to break even, it would need to make at least $300 million globally. So that's the number to keep an eye on, guys. Okay, $300 million. I mean, if it can break even, you know, awesome. <laughs> but I don't think it is. People saw the trailer. Uh, they're not too happy about it. And James Gunn, I mean, he seems to be really, really eager to get this movie out of the way so that they can move on to the big tentpole movie, Superman. I mean, he said it in an interview himself uh, right here, actually. In an interview with a really popular podcaster, he was saying stuff like, 
yeah, this is uh, going to be the first uh, character in the DCU for sure. But, uh, you know, I, I mean, we, everyone really just wants Superman. Superman's the movie. Yeah, that's the first DCU movie. What do you guys think? If you like this video, share it, like it. And if you want to see more content like this, subscribe. And I hope to see you all again next time. Say goodbye, Plato. All of you have a nice day. Ram, ram.